Hello, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you some couple steps and ways how you can fix your PlayStation 4. So maybe you have a problem that your PlayStation 4 isn't turning on again. So I'm gonna show you some steps and let's begin. So a basic step is to check out our ports. If they're not damaged or if it doesn't have a lot of dust of, or just if the cables are in good condition. And let's go to the next step. So maybe you checked all of your ports, all of your cables and they're in good condition. I'm gonna go ahead and go to step number two. So step number two, what you also can try is hold the power button till you hear two beeps. And like this, one beep right there, still holding it. And the second beep right there. What this will do guys is it will activate safe mode so once you do that guys you should see this screen right here safe mode then you want to connect the dualshock 4 using the usb cable and then to press the ps button once you press the ps button you should see this screen right here it means you did it correctly so what you want to do now guys is Go to number five. What you want to focus on guys is number five, six, and number one, and number three. You want to focus on these. So the first thing you want to try guys is restart PlayStation 4. It will just um, try to restart your PlayStation 4. It's like a hard reset. But if that doesn't work out for you guys, you want to go back on safe mode again. And now what you want to try is update system software. What this will do guys is, okay, now go to number three. It will just update your console. Maybe that's the issue why your PlayStation is not restarting. And just press on here. It will just look for an update. And like you see guys, there's another update version 7.00. I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm first gonna show the other examples what you also can do. So what you also can do is go to Reboot Database. What this will do guys is it will just delete corrupted files, error files, like not all of your files, you're safe to go. It won't delete like captured gallery. It will just only delete things that you don't need anymore that corrupt your system. Initialize PlayStation 4, that's the last option what you want to use guys. What this is, it will delete all of your files, all of your saved data, it doesn't matter what saved data, all of your games. But if you have like an account that you saved a game on or bought a game on, you can just re-download it again from the shop, PlayStation Store. So these are the best options that you can use you can also try restore default settings it will just um, reset your settings like if you did for an example your wallpaper on you change your wallpaper it will just change automatically to the normal version the factory settings or maybe you switch to your controllers it'll just change back again and we are gonna try rebuild database for now on this is the best option that you can use so guys now i'm gonna do rebuild database let's start off once you did that click on it the database will be rebuilt it might take a few hours to rebuild the database just press ok It will just automatically restart guys, you don't have to open your PlayStation again. By the way guys, if you didn't like or subscribe, you can do it right now. You can also support me on Patreon. Thank you for that.
and like you see guys rebuilding database it will just most likely take a few minutes but if there's like something big corrupted it will take hours you can also join my community my playstation 4 community error fix <coughs> I'm gonna show you that later. Let's skip forward. And like you see guys, just 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and let's go now oh, guys our playstation is back on on so that's how you fix playstation doesn't work or playstation doesn't work or it doesn't matter playstation won't work or won't turn on and now okay we are on our controller let's go to settings and check out our storage if there's anything deleted so let's go to save the data and like you see guys no data has been deleted only the corrupted data you can also go to Capture Gallery, check out there, or Applications. There's nothing deleted, just corrupted files, like I said. But guys, I can show you something else. By the way guys, these are just the steps. Without opening your PlayStation 4, things like that, without screw, like, screw driving your PlayStation 4. You can also join my error fix community and Kiri. We will help you with these type of problems like error codes, regular PlayStation problems. And thanks for watching guys. Take care of yourself and goodbye.